Welcome to Firearms of America. Today, as you guys can see, I have something from Maelstrom. Let's open it up and see what it is. We got Maelstrom. Tac Force Military Tactical Combat Boots. And overall, let me tell you, I do like this a lot. They are very, very comfortable. One of the most popular combat boots on Amazon with over 6,300 reviews. Four stars, so people do like them quite a lot. Currently $54, only $54. The link for Amazon is in the description below. So, uh, one thing before we get into the whole review, if you're not gonna watch the whole thing, let me just uh, give you a little advice if you're planning to buy this booth. They do run small, so make sure to get at least a whole size bigger. All right, let's get into the reviewing. As some of you already know, this review is specifically for my Ultimate Survival Boots section. Basically, if these weren't just your, you know, training boots that you use for your uh, military camp, or if this wasn't just your, you know, tactical boot that was laying around the house, but if something actually bad happened, if some kind of combat serious situation happened and you had to leave your house wearing these boots, and travel for miles, run on the way, climb, fight, do whatever is necessary to survive until you get to the safety, right? Would this boot be a good contribution as your survival gear for your survival? Or would this uh, get you killed? So how do we make the judgment? We make the judgment based on eight different criteria. Let's begin criteria number one, of course, the comfort level. And uh, like I said in the beginning, overall, I do like the comfort level of this boot a lot. Um, in order to test the comfort level of all the boots, all the shoes that I review on this channel, I do a three mile run, no stop. And then a five mile walk, again, no stopping in between uh, the run and the the walk and then I continue wearing the boots for the rest of the day so that the total wear time is about eight hours all right so there are a few factors that contribute to the comfort level of this boot like I said overall I do like the comfort and uh, let's start from the very first one of course would be the weight right the lighter the boot the more comfortable it feels the longer you can run the longer you can walk in it and this one is does feel fairly light um hmm, let's take a guess i think it's about 17 ounce let's find out if uh my guess is uh well i'm pretty off quite a lot off actually so 20.4 now overall that is a pretty good weight especially for everything that this boot does provide um let me give you some reference numbers if you want a lightweight boot you want something under 20 ounce the more under 20 ounce it is the lighter it feels on your feet the less fatigue you will get from the weight the longer you can run the longer you can walk right without feeling that unnecessary fatigue from the weight on your feet right this one is 20.4 so just a tiny little bit over 20 not not bad at all overall i do consider this in the lightweight category pretty good overall especially like i said for everything that this boots do provide all the protection which we will talk about later uh but let's get into some more factors that contribute to the comfort level of this boot the next one would be the flexibility of the bottom sole the more flexible it is obviously uh, the easier it is to run properly um so here as you can see it is surprisingly considering how massive and bulky it is, it is very, very, very flexible. And it creases in a very right spot with very, very soft material over here where it creases. So that definitely, definitely contributes a lot to the comfort level. So overall, so far, this boot is doing really, really good. But let's get in, into the inner sole. See if we can get in there by unzipping. Side zip definitely helps, which we'll talk about later. But the inner sole here, check it out. It is yellow. <laughs> uh, it does have a nice shape to it. It has a very good heel bed, R support. Overall, it does have very good cushioning. I do like it a lot. It's very, very good. Once you remove it though, there is nothing else extra. Uh, so this is really the only thing that gives you the cushioning, which is, I think, definitely enough. 
pretty good. So far, pretty good. So far, this boot is doing really, really good whenever it comes to the comfort level. Uh, but let's move on to the overall padding on the inside of the boot. This boot right here, honestly, has the most padding that I've ever seen on anything else, especially especially whenever it comes to the combat military tactical boots. This is very good. This right here you can wear without socks and it still will be very careful because look at all of this cushioning, all of this padding at the front, at the tongue, at the shaft. And this padding goes out through all, throughout the whole boot pretty much going to this very soft material. Nothing here on the front though. Keep that in mind. And uh, this is the last point. Yeah, I think this is the last point here that I wanted to make uh, in the comfort section is that it is very, very important to get this boot in the right size. Because if you don't get this in the right size, all of the comfort that I mentioned is gonna be ruined. It's gonna be out the window because this part right here is hard. So if your toe is touching the front, uh, you're gonna feel fatigue really, really quickly if you're walking, if you're running, whatever, really quickly because this part right here is hard. So you wanna have extra space between this and your toe. Keep that in mind. Very important to get them in the right size or all of the comfort stuff that I mentioned gonna be out the window. All right, let's move on to the criteria number two now, proofing and the protection. Now, proofing wise, these are not waterproof, keep that in mind. Uh, protection wise, you do have uh, sort of a reinforced toe cap right here, not a lot, just just probably half an inch of it. Uh, and again, don't, don't, don't get me wrong, reinforced, I don't mean that you can it's not a composite toe, not a steel toe, so you can't drop anything on your toe, or you will definitely feel it, uh, all right? But you do have a little bit of reinforcement. Obviously, you do have decent amount of protection. This right here, this layer of rubber is very, very hard, so you have good amount of protection from the bottom sole, which we will talk about the outsole uh, later in the review. Uh, your heel, obviously, has the same reinforcement as the front, and you do have all of this padding in the ankles, which gives you very good amount of protection here in the shaft, which is not typical, like I said, to the military boots. Usually it's just very, very thin material. So pretty much pointless to have a shaft because, well, I mean, unless you wanna kind of protect yourself from the elements, uh, from little things, right? Uh, or if they're waterproof, um, then it kind of matters, but, but here you do actually have a good amount of protection. Uh, let's move on to the criteria number three now, quality and the design features. Now, quality-wise, uh, usually I rely I rely on Amazon reviews for that, and like I said, these are one of the most popular combat military tactical boots on Amazon. Six over six thousand three hundred reviews. It's 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 amazing. It's an amazing rating. Very very popular. All right, and uh, four stars. So people definitely do like these boots. All right, like I said, the link is in the description below. Go ahead and check out the reviews. Check out what people say whenever it comes to long long longevity of the boot, because this is the only only thing that I don't talk about in these reviews is how long they last. Personally, I believe it's pointless uh, in reviews like this because everybody uses a boot differently, right? Um, some people wear their boots that they get for 40 hours a week, right? Very tough conditions, very a lot of very demanding stuff on your shoe wear, right? Uh, and some people just have it in the house for, you know, months before they wear it once for a couple hours and then they're back in the shelf, right? I have boots like this that I wear maybe once a year <laughs> and then they go back in the shelf. So those boots gonna last me 10, 20 years, right? Compared to something that I wear 40 hours a week that's gonna last me, you know, six months. So it, it's really kind of irrelevant if I tell you, oh yeah, these boots that last me six months. That doesn't really make sense. But uh, enough with that uh, quality, let's move on to the design features. Design features, usually here I talk about the lacing system. And here, besides the lacing system, you also do have a side zip, which is a huge, huge plus whenever it comes to the military tactical combat boots, because this right here definitely makes this boot much easier to put on and take off. I mean, it's just... I think it's a must-have whenever it comes to military tactical boots. Uh, really, 
pretty much anything with a longer shaft like this one right here, right? Especially whenever we're talking about ultimate survival boot, it definitely matters, you know, how fast you can put the boot on, how fast you can take it off, just in case, all right? I don't know why you would want to take it off fast, but you never know. Uh, <laughs> but putting it on fast definitely matters. And this right here, this side zip definitely helps with that. Now, the lacing system here is very, very basic. We have eight pairs of the same exact ring hooks. Very simple, very straightforward. Uh, the strings slide through the hooks very nice and easy. So nothing really to talk about here. Uh, it's the side zip that makes this boot really, really good whenever it comes to the overall putting it on, taking it off stuff. Let's move on to the criteria number four now, the outsole traction and stability. Now, whenever I do my run and my walk, I do it on a variety of different surfaces. I start with some older asphalt, going to newer tarmac, dry sand, wet sand, dry grass, wet grass, some trail surface, some rocky road, uh, some concrete, and then some marble and tile, all right? So I try to test it on everything, on all the variety of different surfaces. And whenever I do reviews on of winter boots, I, I test them on the snow and ice, try to test them. Uh, but this one right here is very good outsole, really, really good outsole overall. Decent balance between aggression and flatness. These grooves are fairly aggressive, but at the same time, it's very basic and kind of flat looking. So they perform very good on pretty much everything that I've tested them on. All right, they perform very good on the sand, very good on the grass, trail surface, rocky road perform very well. And they even perform pretty good on flat shiny surfaces. Even though they're not advertised as slip resistant, oil resistant, this little grooves right here and this kind of texture on these grooves um, it creates that sort of suction that you do need on flat shiny surfaces so they're very stable on marble and tile um, as well surprisingly so very very good outsole very balanced outsole so far these boots are really doing great honestly especially considering the price let's move on to the criteria number five really quickly the temperature these are not winter boots keep it in keep in mind uh, they're not insulated they're not waterproof so I wouldn't recommend them for winter situation but for hot weather boot this is absolutely perfect very nice breathability overall whenever I was doing my run my feet did not overheat at all Mm, I was doing my run in about 93 degrees weather here in Florida. So yeah, it was definitely hot outside. Um, let's move on to the criteria number six now. The sizing, like I said, they do run small. I would recommend getting the whole size bigger. Might be a, even a whole size and a half bigger. Because remember, you do want to have a little bit of that extra space in the toe box. You don't want your toe to be touching the front of the toe box. Keep that in mind, it's very important. You don't want, you don't want to ruin the comfort level of these boots, considering how nice and comfortable they are. Don't ruin it. Uh, let's move on to the criteria number seven now, the balance of application. So if this really was your ultimate survival boot, right? Something bad happened and uh, now you are surviving. Would this be good for your survival? Honestly, overall, if you are not that uh, much concerned with the waterproofing or, insulation if you're not looking for a winter boot this is a phenomenal option excellent excellent comfort uh excellent outsole overall it's just the side zip everything everything really makes this boot a very very good boot um and uh criteria number eight here i kind of rushing into it but it, i think it's very very important the price the price 54 dollars i mean this price is phenomenal for 54 dollars everything you're getting in this boot is just really crazy all right <laughs> crazy 54 dollars unbelievable there isn't really a lot of stuff in that price range that i can say oh yeah that that, that boot really competes with this one no um anything i would say as as good as this I would say probably starts at about 100 120 dollar range all right so this is half of it so obviously this the price makes this boot very very attractive to a lot of people and uh it's a great boot for the price especially it's a phenomenal boot so let me know in the comments below guys what do you think about this boot what do you think about this review if you're planning to buy this boot after watching this review please consider using the link in the description below uh, you're not being charged anything extra if you use that link it's going to be the same exact price but I will get a little bit of percentage from the sale from Amazon uh, and that's a nice way for you to say thanks for the review um, so thank you very much guys for watching this was Firearms of America and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video